Hi. Running late today, makes a change for me, but there we go. Thought I'd share a little insight to my day today. I tried to give Marie a break from homeschooling our little one um, today, and I'm going to do it again tomorrow. And oh my days, what an eye opener. Um, but it certainly made me value teachers. So all you teachers out there, whatever you're being paid, it should be more. Um, and isn't that one of the lessons of shutdown that we are starting to find out the people that should be valued and they're not the people that society was valuing. So teachers, thank you for absolutely everything that you do for our children, not just getting them through exams, but the life lessons, the development, the the way you equip them to um, approach life. Thank you so, so much. But it also got me to thinking about teaching in general. Um, the Bible's full of references to teaching, isn't it? Uh, I mean, Jesus was referred to as a teacher, as a rabbi. Um, and one of my favourite books of the Bible, Proverbs, has 31 chapters. So I've always enjoyed it because you can read a chapter... Um, a day and find you will cover it in under a month unless it's February but so much in there references um, teaching and wisdom so let's have a look at some of them be not wise in your own eyes fear the Lord and turn away from evil if you seek wisdom you will find it wise men never stop learning is that that thing where we get you learn a new thing every day. Wisdom will eventually reward you. Work, work, work. Go to the ant, O oh sluggard, and consider her ways and be wise. And so it goes on. But I suppose what I've learned today is that some things that I find easy, my pupil for the day or for the morning, didn't. And there will be things that she finds easier that I will struggle with. Um, and part of the art, the craft of teaching is to impart, is to lead, is to guide, encourage the student in discovering those things that we might find easy and obvious um, that they are struggling with and enabling them to, to take them on board and process them for themselves. So I wonder what it is that that you find easy, but that is difficult for other people. And how would you share it in a form that makes it accessible? Um, the thing that I enjoy doing is all things gadgety and geeky. And I've always thought that's a bit of a turn off for most people. But suddenly in this day and age, um, discovering that people need that practical advice and so it's been suggested to me and I don't know why I didn't think of it but um, it's been suggested that once lockdown is over um, or even while it's still going on we try and set up a way of um, problem solving so certainly when lockdown is over maybe in your locality I can run a session where you bring your device or you bring your frustration with a device and we work through it together. Um, I don't know what that would look like, but I would certainly enjoy it and I would certainly enjoy working with you to um, expand your uh, grasp of things technological um, because I think we are all learning and growing by using these devices to connect us together. So let's see if we can make those connections even more useful to us, if we can overcome the barriers can overcome the obstacles and make them work for us. So I'd like to do that. Um, if you've got queries even now, um, phone me and if I can, I'll help you with that. Um, and maybe in exchange, uh, there might be things that I can learn from you. I, well, I know there will be, I just don't know what they are right now. So let's, let's have that information exchange. Let's teach and learn from one another. And this evening, let's call to mind, let's pray for those people who are struggling, who are frustrated, who don't have people in their lives who can teach them. And if that is you, 
then have the courage to ask. To ask a friend, to ask a neighbour, to ask somebody from church, to ask me. Use the comments section. Drop an email, phone, whatever works. Just ask. Let's be connected and let's make a difference in each other's lives. Stay safe. Live love.